Welcome back to this new video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. And in this new video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the belt with the keys on them working after the latest patch of 1.50. Now, I currently only got this to work for the male character, and I'm going to be showing you like an outfit that I made together with it. And of course, I will be showing you guys the components to get this belt with the keys on them. So you can find this belt on the police outfits. I don't really say it is a belt because it has like a couple of bags and then a keychain hanging on it. So it's not really like a belt if you say it like that. But I still think that it looks really really good and you can combine it with almost everything. Because we can put a merch bikini top underneath. So we can merge any top from slot number 2 or whatsoever underneath our belt. So that is super super cool. So I'm going to be showing you this basic outfit. This one basically has yellow gloves, black joggers, the keychain belt, some paramedic logos that I basically never feature but I've already uploaded this one before. And it has some yellow Tron shoes so basically like a bumblebee outfit. I really like it. So this outfit contains four outfit slots so you have to do um, a couple of things to basically get it. If you want to do your own outfit, that's completely okay, but just wait for me to like tell you the components. So, you have to do this with the outfit transfer glitch. And as you guys might know, it will delete all of your current outfits, so keep that in mind. And you have to delete your second character and replace it with a new one. So if you do not want to do this, that's completely fine. I'm just warning you what will happen. So if you do want to proceed with this glitch knowing the consequences, then you just want to uh, load up GTA 5, go into choose character and choose your main male character. Now, as soon as you load in with that, you want to grab an outfit that you would like to keep because all of the other outfits will be deleted. So keep the outfit on that you want to save after doing the glitch. So then you're going to hit swap character and you're going to create a new second female character. And as soon as you load in with her, you're just going into the clothes store. So we're going to start off in the top section first and this first outfit will be for the yellow race gloves. So we're just going into the leather jackets and you're going to put on this burgundy GC jacket. And in combination with that you're just going to put on the two tone tank top. So as soon as you cut this on you just want to move over to the pants section. You want to go into the sports pants and you're going to put on these spotted muscle pants. So then underneath for the shoes you're just going to put on these black slack boots and then this will basically be outfit number one. So make sure that you save it on slot number one. So for the second outfit the shoes and the pants stay on. We're going over to accessories and this time we're just going to put on these light woodland tactical gloves. So as soon as you've got those on you want to return back over to the top section and you want to put the tops on in the combination that I tell you. So you're first of all going into the fitted suit jackets and you're just going to put on any of these fitted suit jackets. Then you're going into suit jackets and you're just going to put on a open blazer. And as soon as you've got that on you want to return uh, or you want to go over to the tactical jackets. And then you're going to put on the cakey tactical blue sun. So then you want to return back over to the accessories. You're going back into ties and this time you want to put on the charcoal straight tie for the white bow tie. So now this will be outfit number two, so make sure that you save it on slot number three, uh, slot number two. And for the third outfit, basically nothing much changes, but it is needed to do this outfit to remove the glitched bib. So this time we're just going to keep the jacket on, but underneath we're going to be putting on a black bikini. Also the pants, the shoes and the gloves stay on. And we're also going to be adding a pair of earrings to this outfit, which are the black and white deco earrings. So now as soon as you've got those on, you want to save this on slot number 3 and for the last outfit, um, we finally came to the component of the keychain belt. So for that, again, pants, shoes, gloves, earrings, everything stays on. We're going back into the bikinis and we're going to put on the orange bikini. And this is the merch component that I was talking about earlier that will allow you to merge any top underneath or with the keychain belt. 
So if you apply this bikini, then you can merge any top with this. So as soon as you cut that on, here will be the component for the keychain belt. It is the ultra light strike vest. If you put this on, you will get the keychain. So to get the paramedic logos, all you have to do is put a crew emblem on the back and then you have like a badge on your shoulder and some paramedic logo on the back. It just spices up the outfit. So then as soon as you got this all set, then you're basically good to go. You're just going to save this on slot number four and now you are ready to transfer over your outfits. So to do that, you're just going to open up the interaction menu and you're just going to buy any type of ammo and then you want to hit kill yourself. So as soon as you load back in, you're just going to apply to load into Creator. So back into Creator, you're just going to load up any saved or published race, or you can just simply create one and make sure that all the uh, question marks are gone. So you have like a fully good race. Also make sure that you set it to point to point because it goes a lot quicker. So what you want to do now is just hit test and just test your race that you've just made and just finish it off till the end. So then you want to accept the alerts, then you want to press pause and just go into choose character. So as soon as you load into choose character, you're just going to hover over your second new female character wearing the components and you're just going to delete her. So if you deleted your second character, your circle should go from yellow to white in the bottom right corner and if you see that you've done it correctly. So now you're just going to hit circle to go back into story mode and then you're just going to go back over to a public session. So as soon as you load back into the public session with your male character, we are now ready to create this outfit and I'm going to show you what it uh, basically looks like. So first of all, you need to get the black joggers and you can do this with the save adversary mode glitch. I will leave that in the description box down below. So if you have the black joggers, just save it anywhere in your saved outfits list and of course save the outfit that you had on after doing this transfer glitch. So now we're just going to start by wearing the black joggers and we're going to be starting by merging outfit slot number one first to activate our black race gloves. So you just want to go over to the Rockstar created versus jobs and from here you're going to load up the job Crooked Cop. So as soon as you load into the job you want to make sure the clothing has been set to player owned. So as you can see right here it was set to themes so make sure that you find a job with clothing set to player owned or else you can host it. So as soon as the job is all loaded up, then you will be at the screen right here. So all that you have to do is go to owned outfit and click once to the right. And first of all, you want to hit ready to play with this outfit. Do not go any further. So as soon as you load into the job with this race gloves outfit, then all you have to do is just open up the interaction menu, go to style accessories and go once to the left or once to the right on gear to apply a earpiece or a repeater. And this will basically save up our outfit and bring it into um, free mode. So as soon as you've applied that, you're just gonna walk around for a couple of seconds, then you just wanna pull up the phone and quit the job. So as soon as you are back into a GTA 5 online session, you are now going over to the nearest clothes store, go into the gloves and you just want to put on the race suit gloves. You can basically um, just click on them and this is what your uh, outfit should look like. And all that you have to do is just save it on slot number one. So now we have our race gloves activated and we can merge it with slot number two, three and four. And then you should see the whole outfit basically being built together. So for that, to merge it one last time, of course, we're going back to Crooked Cop one more time. So go back to that job, clothing player owned, you know what to do. And back in, on the screen right here, you're just scrolling back over to owned outfits. Go once to the right and nothing should basically change. Then you want to go once to the right again to add the bow tie, then go once to the right again to get it invisible, and then go once to the right again to add the keychain belt and the rare paramedic logos. And this is what your outfit should look like. It looks really good in my opinion, really matching and everything. So to save it all up, you're just going to hit ready to play and back inside the job again, just put on a rebreather or earpiece, then pull up the phone and quit the mission. So we are back here in um, free mode and I basically saved up the outfit and what I did is I added this face paint, some yellow eye contacts, a face tattoo and just a regular black bulletproof helmet. And that is how I basically saved up this outfit. You should notice that if you add masks or hats, your outfit will basically spawn off. So make sure that you use the telescope or car glitch, whatever glitch to basically glitch the accessories on. 
So this was basically the tutorial on how to get this keychain kind of belt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if this worked for you. Subscribe to the channel of Games Home Live for more glitches and outfit tutorials. And turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest videos. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye everyone!